Hozuki no Rei Tattoo once again shows us what kind of comedy anime this is, and I really had a good laugh out of all these different scenes. Now, I'm going to say this once again because I need to beat it into anyone that does not realize what Hozuki no Rei Tattoo is really about. You will not laugh at this series if you do not take it seriously. I mean, you really got to stare at the screen, take it 100% serious, and then you will see the gags inside of this series just because of the serious humor it really betrays. And I feel like this is really smart of the the entire writers of Hozuki no Rei Tetsu because it's so enjoyable getting to see how they make fun of real world antics that happen in real life all the time. So I feel like this was a really enjoyable episode. So this episode focused on three main things. It focused on the weight loss of King Enma, 10 Hell Kings, and then it focused on the offerings given to the 10 Kings. So really the entire section of this episode, the first half focused on the 10 Kings and we get to see the different aids of all the different kings, how Hozuki is the aid of King Enma. We get to see the other aids, how they're so submissive to their king, and so pretty much we have Enma comparing Hozuki to other people, and it's hilarious how he acts, and you get to see Hozuki just force himself on top of Enma, he's like, have table manners, hits him in the side and all that, you need to make sure you have table manners in front of your guests, you're a very important guest, and so I was like, oh my god, this is hilarious, it's just, it's so funny how he can get comedy out of such serious humor, the way Enma is so envious of the other hates and the other kings is just downright freaking funny, because of how much Hozuki really torments Enma, I mean, you gotta love how the freaking Kings think that Hoski's just in the right and freaking awesome. What's so funny about it is is how they managed to actually betray the seriousness in Enma, how he's just thinking over how good Hoski is, and then all of a sudden he changes his entire perspective because Hoski forces good table manners on him. And you gotta like how Hoski is actually a really nice guy if you think about it. He's a really nice good aide to his king because he's forcing his king to be in proper standing, proper procedures, and trying to keep him in the actual right to where he is a good king and stands above the rest. So I felt like Hoski's actually doing his job. Now let's get on to the other section of the first half. We got the offerings. The way Hoski has to deal with all the offerings of how people, all the dead people that are going to hell, get how the dead get offered so many different things. Like for instance, we got like food, homemade food, we got different types of trophies and all sorts of stuff like that. Well, Hoski decided to deal with this problem by offering all the kings and aides the feast of the offering. So pretty much all the kings that are pretty much letting these people that, you know, get offerings when they're about to go to hell are free. They're being bribed. That's literally what is happening. The people in the real world is bribing the ten kings into pretty much letting free their relative that died. That That is fucking hilarious. That is really fucking hilarious. And I will say that is really just messed up. It really is messed up. I feel like the second half is the funniest part of this entire episode. Let me get into the reason why. The entire weight loss of Enma. That right there in itself is just freaking funny, okay? Enma trying to lose weight. So he gets up, tries to reach for a freaking pen. He can't even reach it. So Hoski thinks in his mind like a slim Enma. Let's do this! Welcome to my training camp. You got Enma doing push-ups and all sorts of crap. You got Shiro training also. So it was a really funny freaking episode getting to see how Enma was trying to lose weight. And then you had the entire section where they go to the cold hell, the hot hell, the cold hell again. And they're going back and forth with the temperatures. I thought one of them are going to get really sick. It was just... This episode, honestly, I love the serious humor in Hozuki because it's just such a great series that does that. Not a lot of anime can pull off serious humor in this type of extent to where I can laugh every episode. It's definitely not a comedy for a lot of people. It really is not. And actually, I want to bring up an interesting fact to a lot of people that didn't know. A couple people in the comments have been letting me know recently that a lot of people, like, a lot of the female audience is enjoying Hozuki no Rei Tetsu more than the male audience. Now, this is really strange. I really don't see exactly how the female audience would be drawn in into Hozuki no Rei Tetsu. So, any of you female watchers out there, let me know exactly why you feel like Hozuki no Rei Tetsu is so popular. Anyways, everybody, you have a wonderful day or night wherever you live, and everybody, I love you so much. Chibi out.